I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you trying to open a program I have recently installed this error arrived. The program can start because dtdx9 underscore 30t.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So. Let's start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for dtdx 9 33 dll You can choose any result you want. I'm choosing the first one. It's not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see my PC is a 64-bit machine and I'm updated to the recent Windows update. So in this case, I'll download from the top. I strongly recommend you to read this page. It has multiple fixing methods also. You can try that too. We'll wait until the download is completed. The downloaded file has two files, one is the DLL, the other one is read. To move the DLL, first open this PC, local XC, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32-bit DLLs. And drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the entire file name, you can see the file is perfectly placed in 32 bit folder. So, job is done for 32 bit users. You can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user, open this PC, local XC, Windows, and this time find a folder named syswall 64 This is the home of 64 bit DLLs. And similarly, drag and drop. Check this one more time. Similarly, by typing the entire file name, you can see the file is placed in 64 bit folder 2. So, job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the error still occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.